sorry, guys. I just couldn't hear it. I think I was caught in that. I would have sacked her so long ago if she wasn't. It's the worst thing about working with family. I, tell you right, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the playing mode here. My brain just fused and I was like, I can't hear it. I can't hear the beat. It's like a triangle, Julie. You just okay. play it. to Paris. We lived there for four years. We were signed to two labels and we had management and um, basically they became liquidated and robbed, our, robbed us of our money and royalties. So that was a fun time in Paris. And um, anyway, we wrote this song when the second label had folded and we thought because we'd always loved Paris that it just didn't like us anymore. 
So we wrote this song about Paris not, not liking us anymore. And um, unfortunately, well, so two years ago we wrote this song and then we've had the attack since. And we met with a, um, an amazing French uh, director who wanted to do a clip for this song. And we've just released um, a video clip for this song. And he subtly looks a little bit at the troubles in France and Europe and the world at the moment. So um, please go and check out the, the video clip because it is quite stunning and provocative. But interestingly, this song turned into something bigger than us, which everything always does anyway. Um, but this is, uh, this is called Paris.